Hi, Stefan Svartling here from Svartling Network. I've been using uh, SwiftKey and Swipe and even Flexi on my Android phones a lot. I like those keyboards, but I still prefer the iOS keyboard on my iPhone and iPad. And here is why. The reason why I prefer the iOS keyboard uh, is because of the keyboard shortcuts. These keyboard shortcuts sync with all my iOS devices and even my Macs. So I can do really advanced keyboard shortcuts that syncs between all my devices. So I can do JavaScript uh, coding, I can do HTML coding, I can do advanced blogging with the links formatting and so on uh, in these keyboard shortcuts. So for example, if I type the word Apple, it links to my page about Apple uh, with full HTML code. So I can use these keyboard shortcuts when blogging, for example, in my favorite app editorial. And yes, I know some of these keyboards can sync commands and so on on Android too, but it's not the same because you can do these advanced automated keyboard shortcuts on Android. Uh, I do them on my Mac because there I can do really advanced coding and so on. And when I save that shortcut on the Mac, it immediately shows up on my iOS devices. That simply is not possible with uh, Android and uh, Android keyboards like SwiftKey or Swipe. So I still prefer the iOS keyboard. I am very much productive on iOS keyboard. I can be very creative with the iOS keyboard. And it's not only the keyboard shortcuts that makes the iOS keyboard great. The auto suggestions and auto corrections is awesome too. And uh, that many people doesn't know is that it can correct a word four words after you typed it. That's how awesome it is. So you just keep typing on the iOS keyboard and the keyboard corrects you. That doesn't many people know. What most people doing is uh, stop typing when they see an error and tries to correct it manually. But that is the wrong way doing it on the iOS keyboard. You should just keep on typing because the keyboard knows what word you wanted to type uh, when you did that error. Up to four words after you typed it. So that's awesome. So that's why I still prefer the iOS keyboard and I will use the new quick type keyboard from Apple when iOS 8 is released. I will not use swipe and swift key. Of course I will buy them and install them and even flexi keyboard to do some tests and so on and see what I like with them and so on. And who knows, maybe some of them can sync these really advanced keyboard shortcuts too. Who knows? We will see. Okay, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need more subscribers, so please do that. Okay, bye.